What's up everyone, Brian from GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use apps from your iPhone or iPod Touch on your TV. So here we have a 32 inch LCD TV and then here we have our iPhone 3G with a, the Apple composite video cable plugged into our device and into the TV. And on the TV you can see Harbor Master. We'll get to that in a minute. Now the thing you'll need to do this is called Landscape TV Out, which you can get from Cydia for free. And the latest version has a bunch of nice little updates and enhancements. So you pretty much install it, and then inside the settings application, which I will open up really quick. Now the settings app doesn't work on the TV for some reason, so I will show it to you up front. So, to actually change the settings of Landscape TV Out, you need to go to your normal settings application and then go to TV Out. And then from there you could enable it, and then enable the touch marker. I'll show you that when we get to the demonstrations. And then you could force it on different sorts of TV cables. Um, you could change some compatibility settings, as well as the actual screen position and size. It took about 40 minutes to actually get the picture um, decently centered onto the TV so you'll have to play around with the numbers quite a bit to get it to look decent then you can change your actual touch ca calibration which took maybe an extra 10 minutes then you can change your orientation which is currently landscape left only so that's the settings app so let's go back to Harbor Master And once the splash screen is done, it should show up on your TV right here. So into the first demonstration, uh, the touch marker that you saw in the settings app is just a little red dot. Alright, so that's Harbor Master. Um, as for the performance of your games on your television, um, if you have a 3GS or the new iPod Touch 3G, it'll probably run pretty good. Um, on my 3G, the frame rate is maybe 5 to 10 frames lower than it should. So for the next demonstration, let me bring up something like... Um, the Kokoto Kart Racer. Now, since this game is mainly accelerometer based, <laughs> you should get pretty good, uh, pretty good gameplay experience. So, we're waiting for it to load the main menu. Alright, so there we go. So you can see it's a little bit choppier than it would be on your actual device, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. So let's make a lap or two.
Alright, so that's an example of an accelerometer based game. It's pretty fun. So you pretty much have your own little game console in your pocket. And all you need is a video cable. Uh, let me bring up a couple more games. Well, let me try to bring up a normal app. Uh, I'll pick Tweety. See if this one works. Now, usually Tweety's in portrait, so right there. So we should just be able to turn it over. And you can see the little track the uh, the red dot down there so you can see where you're tapping so you can see everything is pretty much working as it would on your actual device let's try super monkey ball another accelerometer game so we see the Sega logo Tapping on the screen. So you can see that the frame rate is nowhere near what you would get on your device. Either way, it is pretty fun to be able to play your normal pocket games on a television, even though it is pretty slow. So I'm going to try one more game really quick. As you can see, it's Oh My God Pirates. You can see the little red dot. That is a quick look on running applications on your television. And visit our website for more stuff, gumballtech.com, and we'll see you next time.